Hello everyone. So today I am going to discuss the common causes of female infertility. So we know infertility has become a very big epidemic problem for all over the world, in which the female infertility is forming almost a 50% problem causes. The remaining 50% can be of male infertility combined or unexplained infertility. Discussing about the female infertility here, so we know that this is the ovaries. We have a female has two ovaries, right and left. There are two fallopian tubes. Again, right and left, and there is a single uterus. The mouth of the uterus is known as the cervix, and this is a vagina. So there can be multiple causes for the female infertile patients. Starting from the most common, the most common is actually the PCOD, which we all know. PCOD basically is a ovulatory dysfunction. The percentage is almost 35 to 45 percent in a PCOS patient. There is irregular periods. There can be weight gain, facial hair, pimples neck darkening underarm darkening and it is a hormonal imbalance but the best part about pcod is that it has a very good outcome so a good prognosis is there with pcod with the lifestyle and proper hormonal treatment coming to the next most common problem is the tubal factors so fallopian tubes they can be blocked they can be damaged because of infections or because of endometriosis there can be any inatypical problems also the tubal factor is ranging in the uh, percentage of 25 to 35 percent alone so alone tubal factors is again uh, 25 to 35 percent and uh, the tubal uh, patency has to be assessed by ultrasound procedure that is a ssg which is now the standard procedure uh, in which by ultrasound we are seeing for the tubal patency i have a separate video for ssg procedure that i will share in the description Coming to the uh, next new common cause which is emerging is the endometriosis. Now endometriosis is a hormonal problem. The ovaries have started releasing hormones and because of hormonal imbalance there is anatomical distortion. The patient has severe pain during the periods, severe pain during the intercourse. This endometriosis disease can infiltrate into bladder or bowel also and the best treatment for endometriosis is always a good surgery. So it is also forming almost 20% of the cases for infertile. The remaining common causes will be the fibroids, the polyps and uterine anatomical abnormalities in which the uterus formation from birth itself is not proper and it can be of various types which the ideal test is hysteroscopy but now 3D ultrasound is also good enough to diagnose the exact uterine abnormality problem. Uterine abnormalities fibroids and polyps always require a surgery a hysteroscopy or laparoscopy for the correction coming to one new problem which has emerged for a very common cause of again female infertility is a low ovarian reserve that means the eggs in the ovary are very less and if the eggs are uh, less that of course means that the reserve is less the test is done by the serum amh which can be done on any day of the cycle uh, the worst part about these patients are that they have a very poor prognosis because not only the number is less but the quality of the eggs are also very bad. So these patients require a special type of hormones injections also for the treatment. Of course we know when the patient is trying for natural cycles or IUI at least one or both the tubes must be good and also it's always better to have at least normal or to subnormal uh, male parameters also poor pale parameters and poor female infert or a severe cause of female infertile, infertile cause will obviously have poor prognosis only. One very important point to note is that multiple causes can be coexistent. For example, a patient can have a PCOD with a septate uterus, there can be a tubal factor with endometriosis, there can be low ovarian reserve with polyps or fibroids. So always every cause has to be uh, tackled individually properly. That is very important. Multiple causes of female infertile infertility can coexist. Also, female and male infertility causes can also coexist. So, it is very crucial to properly diagnose the cause of infertility in an infertile couple. A simple good diagnosis itself can help a lot of time the couples to conceive naturally or by at least IUI.